big warm welcome back to the channel new and existing subscribers really really appreciate you guys continuing to uh, join us on this amazing journey we're trying to find some content that is sometimes the same as others sometimes a little different well, i hope today will be a little different now i'm going to do this content probably over two days so if you see a a uniform change don't be too horrified because i've done it on another day and the reason we've done that is because there's three places we're going to be visiting and this one's kind of one further way out so it was more of an impromptu thing we were here on the way and we thought you know what while we're here we'll just at least do the first stage instead of having to do it all in in a day so where are we well we are at Pattaya's shooting range. We're going to take you guys around three different shooting ranges if you enjoy having a bit of fun with a gun, so to speak, in a legal sense, obviously, not going and doing the wrong thing with it. Now, I'm a particular fan of shooting. I've done it for a lot of years. And yeah, I thought, you know what? What, what cool content. So you come to Thailand, come to Pattaya, and instead of the usual same old, same old, no. Do you know what we're going to do? We are going to show you something a little different, and that is this place here. I'm going to just turn it around if I can do it with some with some grace and elegance. Probably not. But uh, yeah, so here we go. We are now going to go in here very shortly. Now, we haven't found any information out about it as yet, and we won't film unless they allow us to. I hope this won't be just an outdoor only spectacular. I do hope that will um, will enable us to maybe have a look inside. I'm not 100% sure if they will or they won't, but we will ask and if they don't let us then what we will do is try and find out some info for you how much it costs etc etc so stick with us for this video and we're going to give you as I say three lots of places we're going to go to and we will tell you all the prices sometime later in the video and I won't say at the end because it might not be at the end so that's kind of a, a tactic to keep you guys watching so stay with us folks and we're going to go that away shortly so snow's going to wander herself in and seek some permission because it's often makes good sense that Thai people speak with Thai people in these events so the way we would go in is up this little ramp we uh when we went inside and had a little chat they are honestly really really lovely in there but they wouldn't allow us to film however they did allow us to take a couple of the photographs so we've got um which we'll put into this video maybe while i'm talking over this it's uh it'll show you all the different weapons so mainly handguns revolvers semi-automatics uh from 0.22 to a 9 mil 38 between that and uh do you know what? You're going to be really impressed when I let you know what the prices are. They open 10 a.m. and they close at 7. I'll give it to you right now if you spin that little baby round, which I'm going to try and do with all the grace and elegance of an elephant. So there it is, guys. Um, Pattaya shooting range. Now, I could just reveal all of those prices right now, but I'm not going to because I want you to stay. We need to get some video retention going. So stay with us. We're going on to two more, but not today. Not today. We're going on to two more though. If we get an opportunity they, that they will allow us to film, then what the plan would be is we will purchase some ammunition and uh, have a little crack and we'll try and get some of that on film because I think you'd enjoy that. So, damn, they really are nice in there though. It's just, it's just that they said no. But they, at least they didn't say absolutely no, get out. They gave us a few opportunities to take some photographs, a couple of shots of the calibers of, of the different um, ammunition. So. Stay with us guys, we're going on to the next one, which is uh, also pretty exciting stuff. As we always said, it would be another day that we come back and do this second uh, place and third in fact today. We're going to go to two places. We've now arrived at number one, or in your case, the second one for the video. Uh, as you may see, uh, a little bit more disheveled today, so it is a few days later, as I thought it would be. Um, We've got two uh, places we're trying again to see if we can uh, record inside. We're not sure what permission we're going to get. So for now, I'm just going to tell you exactly uh, where we are um, so you get an idea. Here we are. This is, um, this is now, I don't know if it's technically the dark side, but it's across this side of the track. So you're coming over to Hat Yai type area. So you've got to come across the railway and then this is where you're going to be. So this, guys, is Battle Mouse. Battle Mouse Gun Range. Try and find out some information inside for you, as we promised. And if we are very, very lucky, 
we might be able to film. But if not, look, we'll, we'll at least try and get some info, maybe a, a couple of pictures, something like that. So yeah, let's go and see what we can find, shall we? Well, good news is we are going to be allowed to record inside. So that is fantastic stuff. Uh, what I'm just going to do right now is show you kind of where we are. I'll spin it around. So you get an idea, um, Battle Mouse. They have an indoor and an outdoor range, which we've just found out. I don't, uh, haven't got all the pricing and so forth yet, but we will certainly have that extremely soon because we're going to go and do some recording, which is fantastic news. So we're now going to walk in. Um, this is the entrance. It's open 9.30 a.m. through until 6 p.m. every day. So unlike the last one, which was closed today, this one is seven days a week, which is fantastic. Let's just have a quick gander inside and see. It's very nice. Wow. Very posh. So yeah, here it is. This is... Aha. I'm not going to show you that yet um, because I'm going to withhold all the prices for you. So... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, the reception area. Back with my 70s shades on, as someone commented. Good comment, good point. Uh, we're going to take a look inside now. I want to actually show you there's some nice display cabinets over here, which I, will, I would like to show you. Um, this is pretty cool as well. So, let me just get off me. I don't know how well you can see it, it's quite reflective. Like these are the different calibers, 22s, short and long, magnum, 22, 36.35, 7.65, 38 special, at least have one of those, uh, 357 magnum and shotgun 12 gauge. Those are the different calibers that you can in fact shoot in, so let's have a gander through here. This is, ve this is very big, it's very nice, very smart. So. I'm not sure of a reflection. Let's try anyway. Yeah, I'm getting quite a lot of light reflection. I thought that would be the case. So anyway, try and underneath here. Uh, this is probably a good position from here without the light reflection above. Try and get the best I can for you. Quite difficult, the lights above. The old AK-47, gosh, very cool. And some dude standing guard. <laughs> so yeah, you got like a waiting area here and gosh. Amazing. I'm guessing you can hear the footer. It's a bit like a museum. Nine millimeter. That's the John Wick gun there, the kel -Tec shotgun. The Colt Col Gold Cup, no, that one, the old classic, 9mm, 11mm rather. Uh, the CZ Shadow 2, 9mm, and the Rhino 357. Pretty cool weapons. So, let's see if we can wake our way in there now. So when you do come in, you get head, ear protection. So, if, you know, obviously you're not going to go deaf for the shooting. You can sort of see through there. We're not going to go into the range itself because of where we are. But what I would like to do is perhaps come back and... Yep, yeah, I'm here. You can have a coffee. I'm not sure if you can hear me with a sweaty cup. If you can hear me with all the, uh, the shooting going on, but it's very, very cool. Very cool. You see here, look at that. Wow. These are the indoor range. Very, very cool. Pretty exciting. Quite nice, they seem to be giving instruction as well, so they don't just sort of let you loose with the guns, they try and show you what you're doing. Interestingly, it's all ladies shooting. There's no men shooting here. <laughs> it's really good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this is very cool, very, very good. Now we, we're also going to try and see um, 
We're also going to try and see the outdoor range as well, so we'll, we'll take a wander around there. Um, I think, do we have to go outside to that, right? I mean, out the front? Yeah. Okay. There's our little supply of uh, giving us some information. Um, they're very, very friendly here, very helpful, very, no problems, you know, which is very, very cool. And I'm saying very, very too much, but anyway. <laughs> All right, let's... Prices, yeah, as I say, I've taken prices, but I'm not mentioning them because we're not going to tell you when we're going to reveal the prices. We have taken prices here. We've taken prices at the last place. And they are pretty competitive. Is this the way? Okay, we're going to, we're going to continue. If you lead on, um, we'll follow snow. Right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Out into the great yonder. I'm assuming this must be the outdoor uh, range. I would say they shoot the sort of more semi-automatic, automatic weapons up here, more the rifles, would make sense. And once, you know, as you know, I'm only guessing, guys, you're finding out as I'm finding out, that's kind of part of the fun, really, isn't it? That's a very big operation, gosh. Very big indeed. It's very tidy and clear. Oh, there you go, I can see the range there, yeah. Okay, folks, this is the, an outdoor range and you would definitely come up here and you would utilize more your larger caliber machine guns, shotguns. And I think they set up like a, a target shooting route, if you like, a competition route. They can stick the, the um, targets in different positions and you, you go against accuracy and time. That's what they would do here. I'm going to continue this quite a, oh, the, and you know, so they've got different outside ranges. That's number one, this is number eight. So by deduction and being my great mathematician that I am, they must have eight outdoor ranges. Because it really is big, very big. Okay, this is, is more outdoor-y, outdoor -y. Sweaty cup. Yeah. That's so big. So? No. Yeah. That does. This is great. This is fantastic. What do you mean? It's amazing. They've got eight. They've got eight outdoor shooting. It's number one, number eight there. It's, so they've got eight. Fantastic. Really cool. Seems at the moment, right this minute, most people are, are shooting with this one. Oh, look at this. Right, guys, this, this, oh, this is fabulous. I love this sort of stuff. Okay, let's have a look at this. Sweaty cup. Sweaty cup. Look at that. Fantastic. Wow. You get your hands on those and have a bit of a go. Goodness me, that'd be fun. What have I shot of these? Uh, to be honest, I haven't shot any of these before. I've shot the FN Fell, I've shot the M16, but I don't know, none of those for sure. This is number six, so you can sort of get these things and take your shots. You get your various metal targets around at the bottom end there, you can see. And these guys are all here to like help you. You're not just set free with the weapons. So I'm guessing that if you weren't uh, experienced, you see here's the, the rounds um, magazines. It's quite cool, it seems very safe. Nothing here has got live ammunition in it. It's just, these are just empty magazines. And I would guess when you go and pay for what you're buying, they give you the number of rounds, how they do it. Um, actually, that's a very good question. I'll put this on you now. So I'm gonna ask Snow, Snow. How, when, when you purchase rounds, so you buy 10 bullets, mm -hmm. how do they give it to you? Do, do you, do you, do they give it to one of the gentlemen or do they give it to you and you come? Um, you I, can ask them yeah. how, how they do. So if I say I want to buy 10 okay. rounds, do they give me just 10 rounds in my hand and I? Come with you. Yes. Okay, perfect. That's very, very safe. Yeah, yeah, 100% agreed, yeah. 
That's, yeah, it's really cool. Very, very cool. Right, let's make our way back now. And as you can see here, just quickly, I may have already shown you, just repeating myself, head, uh, ear protection for the sounds and so forth. Um, so this is the plan in my mind. We're gonna go to this third place just to get the, get the content. And because we are able to film here freely, what we may do is come back here and actually purchase some rounds and have a few shots ourselves. Probably on a handgun, I would have thought, but I think for now, we'll go to the next place and then see if we can do the same filming there, hopefully, and then to make a decision, one of the places to come, we'll buy some rounds ourselves and we'll go onto the range and we'll some shoot, we'll both shoot. Oh, this is a better shot, the ammunition chart. That's better than the one. In, oh, it's not so much better. It's the reflection. I'm trying to get away from the reflection, but the shotgun, 357 Magnum, 38 Special, 11 millimeter, 9 millimeter, and 22. These are the various ammunition charts for the weapons. That's for the weapons we've we've actually just seen over there. So there's a variety of different. These are rifles on this section. So this is a rifle area and we've shown you the indoor. So we will get some footage of actual shooting and tell you what it was like. I'm really quite excited about today now. Now that I know we can film, I was a bit sort of fl flustered, frustrated by the last time because they wouldn't let us film inside, which was a shame. But anyway, it's fine, we've got, we've got it here. So this is the place, or number two. Stick with us and we will move on to the last contender for your money soon. It's like I'm trying to think of the words as they go slowly through my head. But I uh, put my eyebrows down on my 70s shades, that's the one. And we'll catch you at the next one. So we have now arrived at our third location for today. Well, actually second today, but third for the video, if you know what I mean. This is the last place we're gonna go. It's very, very easy to find. It's actually set in such a beautiful place. I'll show you in just a minute. So let me just uh, tell you where we are. And then we'll, again, Snow's actually already gone in to see if we can go inside and do any filming, or if not, we'll try and get some, we will get information for you how much it costs, <coughs> excuse me, and how much, uh, ammunition blah 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 and then i'll do a bit of a run a, a review of the whole the whole process of the three visits what we've had and a, a couple of things you probably would need to know such as pricing definitely want to know about pricing and times opening times that kind of thing pretty important so let me just spin this around here and show you where we are oh still looking at me i don't know why okay guys this is it this is pataya shooting park the third location for today. I keep saying today, this video, not today. This video is in Pattaya shooting park. Now look how lovely this is. It's just, it's very, the, the building looks pretty awesome. Okay. Here's the entrance area. I'm not sure if they do in and outdoor here. I'm quite sure that to the left over this side is indoor. I haven't heard any shots being fired. What a lovely location there. I mean, what a place to come and, you know, experience it. It's just very beautiful. Look, there seems to be a couple of canoes there if you wanted to get out, I think. I'm just assuming, it's like I know everything, I do not. But look at this fantastic little lake here. This, it's very relaxed, very, very relaxed. And if I scan around, it's a very stunning, actually. What a lovely location. I assume those chairs there would be for the ability to have a cup of coffee and 
have a little wee natter. Yeah, so guys, Pattaya Shooting Park. Let's see if uh, Snow's been successful or not. Um, she's very good with people, so if if we can't go, it's it's certainly not through lack of trying. It's, they must have different rules. I gather the first reason, the first place we were at is because it's related to the police, the first shooting place. <clears throat> so they didn't want to allow us to go and record. But as I say, they're really nice and helpful and let us take pictures. So same kind of diffs really, isn't it? Okay, let's see if I can find out. There you go. So it says open daily, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And I'll just show you the, the lovely big sign here. It's brilliant, isn't it? There she is. Pattaya's premier shooting range, wow, okay. I'm not gonna walk in, because I'm not sure if we're allowed to yet, but I can at least walk to the door, kind of show you what's going on. As I say, nice surroundings. Okay, so Snow's just come out and she's had a little chit chat with them and they're happy we take a few you know, bit of, bits of stuff outside and we'll show you the reception, but they don't really want us to, to do much more recording than that. They obviously have a concern that we may put something in a, neg a negative light and that's not, not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to show you the three locations where you can go, how much it would cost you and what sort of things you can offer. And I'll be honest with you, this is probably as nice as the last one so you know they're all very clean i'll say that much so i'm just going to walk through reception with you right now did you want to say something on camera uh before they have a uh outdoor but now they make a in in have a different and so uh high and have different and the future have different okay i'm not 100 percent sure what you mean but I got the, the fact that they used to have an outdoor range. I don't know what she means. The prices are there the same and they're different, but let me just have a look. I have a brochure here. Um, listen, we're just showing you as it is. We're not editing out to make everyone sound special. Okay, so they've got a variety of five range, 22, 38, and 45, and nine millimeter, pistols and rifles, and indeed shotguns. So what you will see in their brochure, um, and we'll try and take some pictures of this brochure for you actually. So when we do the final editing, we'll do that. But what they do, and it's quite sensible, um, they're not so sure um, what their pricing is going to be like. So their brochure here essentially is saying um, just what, what services they offer. Now, do we know the pricing or? Uh, I see uh, the 10 of uh, 1,000. Okay, for 10, yeah? So they're saying, okay, cool, cool. All right, so we've got an idea of, of there's a commonality across all three of these places, and that's the issue of 10 rounds of ammunition. You then choose which weapon you want to shoot. So they have a range of pistols, revolvers, semi-automatics, and rifles and shotguns. So I'm just gonna walk through reception just to show you how nice it is. I'll maybe go out the far door and then, uh, yeah, that's kind of all we can do in terms of recording, unfortunately. So here we go. Okay, so it's very nice, very smart. Sort of chill out zone here. Park off, I've got a beautiful lake. And, uh, there you go, excellent. Fantastic, yeah? And that would be the way down to the shooting ranges through there. It also appears to be another little chill out room here. It's very, very nice, very nice. The toilets around the back, I'm not sure if you wanted to know that, but uh, now you do. And you can come out the other side. I'm not quite sure if there's still sort of plans to explain. Look, you could very probably have a little restaurant there. Maybe that's their plans. And they're, they're forever changing. So, you know, they're a little bit hesitant that we push out their prices. We will tell you though, we will tell you because um, we did sneak a look, but only, unfortunately, only for 10 rounds. So you get different uh, amounts of rounds you can buy. And I will explain in the summary what I mean and they also do things like packages, so. Yeah, that's, uh, that is, that's your shooting park.
Okay, we are now back uh, to try some shooting here. We bought a set of guns. So basically what that means is we get to have, and I'll just show you here. Um, where am I looking? Ah, there we go, set A. So that's set A. That's uh, the price is revealed there, 2,600 baht. That's a Glock uh, 38. And I honestly don't know what that rifle is, but it's a 2.22. Uh, .22. You get 10 bullets of each of these. Now, as Snow has never actually shot before, we are going to, in fact, uh, she's going to shoot for the first time. So that should be quite fun. And we'll just show you how they help you um, record. Sweaty cup? Sweaty cup? Right. Okay. Uh, can I scan? Yeah. So you got it. Let me just switch this off a minute. So we just paid the money. Now, I don't know, okay, I'm not quite sure what the next stage is, we'll find out. So I take this oh, with, so let's go that side, yeah? Oh, cup on cup, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Alrighty, cup, right, okay, here we go. <laughs> next stop. Right. Then you hand in your receipt here, which they will then make sure that you've paid the old spondulix. They've got the rounds actually in there already, as you can see, look at this, so they're in that box. I just want to show that, Okay, see, so see there. All right, there they are, all ready to go, and we are on the capable hands of this gentleman here. We'll follow you. <laughs> go from cut. Okay, so we're now heading towards the shooting range. Bond. His name Bond. His name Bond. Yeah. Bond. <laughs> His name is Bond. James Bond. It's James Bond. <laughs> That's true. Oh, fantastic! You couldn't make. You couldn't write that, could you? <laughs> Right, we need some. Akino Reeves. Hey, Akino Reeves as well. Oh. Okay. Do we need head? Ah, I got it, got it. Cup and cup. Right, so now we have. Uh, oh. Okay. Do you need to take a video? Oh. Take a video? Uh, what do you mean? They take video. You, you take video for Aya? Video? Yeah. Oh. Uh, we have to pay how much? Uh, 400. One person? Oh. Okay. No, no, I carry cord here. Yeah, yeah, we, we have our China hand and so. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. We, we can explain about if someone no coming up. Yeah. Have okay, I will now. So that lady just stopped us and asked if you come here and do some shooting here, they will record a video for you. Um, you can see actually cameras set up. They're actually using the same camera we are. I can see it in front of me. And I think it cost about 1,000 baht, something like that. Uh, how much was that? 400 baht per person. Oh, oh sorry, four, yes. 400 baht per person. So uh, I'm just going to block because someone's about to shoot next to me and I want to keep my... <laughs> Good Lord, that's exactly why I wanted to do that. So yeah, that is pretty... <laughs> Bloody Nora, okay. Oy. Jesus Christ. That's better. Bloody hell. Right, I'm going to take this off now because it's going to pick up too much. Okay, still recording, I didn't realize it. Okay. Right, we're just setting up at the moment. Uh, I'll treat it. Uh, you may hear some pretty bands, but here we go. This is our range. We've taken this uh, set of our uh, weapons and, and we're going to get one to go first for sure. And these are our, our targets. So we're going to get. Uh, Mr. Bond to show Snow what to do. I'm going to watch and sort of learn myself. So we're going to put a microphone if he's happy. Yeah. It's me. Oh, okay, I think. Okay. Better. Okay, so I'm just going to stand to the side here.
ได้ปักเติมสองไอโอนี่มันบางบทฟังแม่ค้าฟังแม่ค้าฟังแม่ Hello. Good job. Try this again. Hey, good job. Look! Yeah. Look! Uh, top top top. Top. <laughs> that snow is yeah. shooting really good. First time. First time. Well done. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, <good. coughs> That's the Glock. Is this uh, Glock 17 or 19? Uh, 17. 17. Glock 17. Lovely 38. Uh, what, is, uh, what is the name of this gun? Luger. Say? Luger. Luger. Oh, it's a Luger. Oh, right. Wow. Okay. Oh, Ruger, Ruger. Oh, fair. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. Thank you so much, eh? Book up. I cannot lie. That was an awful lot of fun. We just had a shot. We've got some footage which we'll include. It's absolute blast. And these guys are fantastic. They're in bond. You know, snow shot for the first time. So, you know. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Okay. Oh, Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, Spencer, thank you so much, Sam. That was brilliant. So, what did you think? Huh? Okay. Sit here. Yeah. Okay, so. Oh, excellent. Right, let's have Snow's opinion. Uh, what? You shot with a Glock 17, <laughs> 9 millimeter. Okay, how was it? Look at that. The first time. What just for? 37. Yeah. 37. Look at the shot. Shot. Very, very good. 
you never you never played before, so I never I never but I thinking in I have the some have tenor this a uh, name Bond James Bond. Yeah, James Bond. Yeah, we have James Bond and <laughs> the tenor really nice and he cry and oh ten really good. Yeah. And the first time for me ex excited, really excited. And the, I want to say something when I saw the gun, I feel like uh, oh, I just calm and he yeah he said uh, calm and again I bang but oh really so hard like a bang bang. I feel, oh. <laughs> good, yeah, really happy. <laughs> that was absolutely exciting stuff. Honestly, I love shooting. So I haven't had a few shots in a while, but so on me, on the Ruger, the rifle, I got a, a 92 out of 100. Here's my spacing there. Uh, that's a 0.22, really cool weapon. There's hardly any recoil, hardly any recoil at all. And then, um, with the Glock 17, I got 100%, 40 out of 40. I only had, there's my shots right there. You shared with me. <laughs> I shared, yeah, I shared the Glock with you because you didn't want to shoot. I don't understand why, but you were very good. You were very good. So, yeah, it was, it was very, very cool. So, a quick summary. I'm going to do the summary here because I think it makes sense. I'm going to include the prices, not in this speech right now, but just to tell you that we've gone to three places they're all very very nice the people are generally nice this is the only place we were able to film unfortunately inside but on on saying unfortunately i think we got some great stuff which we should have showed you in the videos by now now the pricing i'll put into pricing one pricing two pricing three they're all kind of much of a muchness you just get different benefits from each of these experiences they're easy to get to it's not something you could get to on the bark bus though you would normally have to get except for the first one you could definitely get there on the bark bus but the last the next two we've been at today they are a little bit further out so you, you need a, a bike to hire or a taxi either either or just to get yourself here overall guys absolutely fantastic you've got to come you've got to do it it's brilliant and the staff are so helpful if you have never shot before i mean snow has never shot before he was so good at showing how to handle the weapon how to aim how to relax keep you relax. and look at a shot ratio fantastic first time shooting so you don't have to be experienced to do this especially not here so thumbs up massive thumbs up please continue to share subscribe and thank you so much all of you are already with us I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>